Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. This time we're doing a tour of a number of stores in Burlington. We're starting at Odd Spot, and then we'll go to Mission Thrift uh, with the attic in the between and ending at the Goodwill store at the far right. You'll see that the word Odd Spot on the Google map is correct. The dot is correct for the door. So uh, at the street, this is what you see on the uh, above the restaurant that's at the corner. And they typically have their their sandwich board outside. And then you walk down this kind of like a corridor, but it's outside. And you see these things. And you see the horse, and then you're just about there. They've got a bit of a display on the outside. And then you get to go inside. So here we are, we're just going to give you an overview here. If you want to see uh, the longer version of this same video, uh, it'll be posted down below or you can find, find it in the channel. This one's been stabilized, the original was not. There's some artifacts from the stabilizing. So they've got a number of albums, they've got collectibles, uh, buttons of clothing, jewelry, including Hawaiian shirts, which I usually look for. They also had some vintage um, camera equipment. But it is an interesting shop that's tucked away. It's almost like an alleyway off the main street. Um, not sure why somebody would have built it this way, but hey, I think it works. Uh, it gives some, some kind of uh, businesses that don't necessarily need to have that street presence. Although I think Odd Spot could use a, a, a greater street presence. It might draw some other people in. Here's the camera equipment. And then they have some other stuff out behind the counter as well. Not too much. Beyond what they do here in the store, they also run an online auction. Here's some of the items that were in the front window, for at the front door. And just another look towards the front of the store. Because at the beginning we're coming in. So you see they've got some vintage skateboards down at the bottom there. It's actually quite, quite small. And from there you can either walk, if depending on where you parked, to the next, next uh, place that we're going to, the Burlington Humane Society Attic Store. Another one that's a very small store. Lots of stuff. This is what it looks like on the outside. Not on the main street, it's a block away from, from the main business district street. Again, these this has been uh, redone from the original footage. So you see some artifacts from the uh, video stabilizing. Hard goods, clothing, jewelry, fabrics, some books, um, a little bit of men's clothes, a bit more women's clothes, um, house, household goods, 
And this is their uh, items. Uh, the next one on this tour is the uh, Mission Thrift Store. It's, it is definitely a walkable trip from the, the attic. To use the address that I had on the map there, because the Google map has you go in some back laneway. So th there's some quick stuff here. Some really interesting items that were in the front window. They have clothing, they have these uh, collectibles, there's glass, some amount of other ceramics and household goods, a bunch of artwork, it tends to be smaller pieces, um, men's clothes, there's uh, like one rack, there's like three or four women's racks, there's three, two or three children's clothes racks, and then the uh, hard goods that go around the sides of the store. They even have a nice selection of uh, jewelry. That, that all depends on who, what's been donated, of course. I picked up a, a nice straw hat. Well, maybe it's not straw, but it sure looks like it to me. Um, I won't give you details right now. Um, they had some purses as well. It's, it, out of the group of uh, Mission Thrift in the general area, this is mid-size. It's a good enough size to uh, have selection. But the location is really an oddball one. Easy to get to and so on and so forth. It's just that it's kind of way back on the piece of property in, the, in an outdoor mall. And it looks like you could possibly go beside a what kind of looks like an abandoned barn. It was a, a restaurant at one time, um, but you can't go through their park. That parking has been closed off, so the the access to the store is a, a narrower roadway um, that goes in front of the other stores that are in the little plaza. A bit of books. <clears throat> And here we are with some of the, this is an in, inside uh, case and there's the jewelry that's right at the cash counter. So from this one we're going to take a slightly longer trip, um, twice as far as the last one, well, no, not quite, to the Goodwill store, uh, it's right on the same street. Um, so in total I'd suggest a drive or a bike or, or a, uh, or a bus, uh, this would probably be a bit of a walk. It's, it's very doable, but not everyone's in for the walk like this. In any case, if you pick up a bunch of stuff, you wouldn't want to try and hoof it back. <clears throat> so you see the artwork. It's a fair-sized store. It's not one of the biggest ones of uh, Goodwill I've seen. It's, I'd call this a medium size. They might call it a small. So they have some artwork, they have clothes, they have the hard goods on top of the clothing racks as is found in most of their other stores. I've seen that from southwestern Ontario all the way through to Mississauga. They're not currently east of Mississauga. As far as, oh, there, there's talk of opening a store in Toronto again. The issue was that the portion that was run out of Toronto had a financial failure. So all of the stores, Toronto North and East, uh, were shut down. The ones that uh, this is connected to is uh, is based in London, Ontario, where they've got a, a very flourishing operation going, where they've got a uh, multi-story building for their offices and training facilities with a store at the bottom plus multiple other stores around including two or three that are just strictly dedicated to books one of which has more rare books but that's London this is we're now in Burlington 
and this is behind the cache and there's the whole trip from beginning to end it's not particularly long and if you want to you can always find it these are the addresses notice I made a made the new street address is for the for the um, mission thrift thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this compilation of uh, four different places into one video if you like that give us a subscribe a thumbs up and maybe even a tingle on the bell